I am so privileged to be with you two today. You both are great friends of the ministries and also personal friend of mine. So it's a joy to be with you today. I wanted to talk to you about your own ministry. I know you both are founder and co-founder of Uncharted Ministries. Tell us a little bit more about your ministries and what you do. Well, you know, our heart is to reach the unreached, which there's a lot of unreached people groups in the Middle East, Central Asia, and then stand with the persecuted because we see that many times when Muslims come to faith in Christ, they'll be persecuted by their own family. So that's our heart. But it's also about waking up the Western church mm -hmm. that today we live in a great harvest, bigger than any time in history of the church, except maybe the first century. But we were much smaller then. So now more people are coming to faith in Christ than ever before. And Islam is imploding in many ways mm -hmm. as so many are coming to faith in Christ. Look at Iran, what's happening. Fastest growing church per capita in the world, wow. That is amazing. So your mission, your ministry is very much in line with Iran Alive Ministries and our mission. Our mission is to transform Iran into a Christian nation, one soul mm, at a time, right. and really stand with the persecuted of um, Iranians, um, former Muslims that come to faith and they stay in isolation and darkness in Iran. So I love what you do in your ministries and I love how connected we are here mm -hmm. at Iran Alive yes. Ministries yes. with you. Oh my gosh. Um, so tell me a little bit more about how you got connected with Iran Alive Ministries. Yeah. Well, first of all, I have to say we love Iran Alive Ministries. That's right. We love Pastor Hermos and Donnell. We're great personal friends. Love all of the staff. It's been an honor and a joy for us to work um, in partnership with That's you. That's right. But we have something in common and in, in what you just said. It's true. It's reaching those that are unreachable, that are in those dark places. And that's why we love the name Uncharted. We want to go where no one else wants to go, those scary places where there are souls right. living in darkness, longing for truth, and they need Jesus. And so they need someone to go and tell them about him. And that's what our heart is. And we know that's the heart of a run alive too. That is amazing. I get overjoyed every time I hear about this divine connection that yes. God brought together and how um, we as Iran Alive Ministries family are connected with you That's and right. your ministry and your mission. So I know there are a lot of people that are considering to become partners with Iran Alive Ministries to really come alongside us and support <coughs> us and be there for the persecuted church of Iran, for those that have never heard about the gospel gospel in Iran um, so that, you know, it, they would be able to enable us to broadcast mm -hmm. into the privacy yeah. of people's homes, the gospel, the love of Christ. Um, how would you encourage those that are considering about um, becoming our partners? Mm. Well, I think right now there are two things needed. Faithful prayer warriors. This is a huge spiritual battle in Iran. It is the fastest growing church per capita in the world. Satan doesn't like that. He wants to shut it down. He wants to just destroy the underground church. So we need prayer warriors. We also need people, we also need people that practice stunning generosity. It takes a lot of money to run a ministry like this 24 seven. And the body of Christ is up for it. God has blessed us in the West. Mm -hmm. And when we display stunning generosity, and I'm talking about generosity that even surprises us mm -hmm. when there's a need. God can use that and he can further the ministry. So we ask you to pray and, and to practice stunning generosity. Jesus has done that with you. He's bestowed so many gifts on you. Uh, share with Iran Alive. Mm. They are making a huge impact in Iran. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Tom and John, you guys have been more than just partners with us. You are, are friends of the ministries. You're a friend of the staff. You've been with us. You've been praying with us. Mm -hmm. You have your own program, Ministering to Women in Iran. Um, it's called Flourish. And we have so many. It is one of the most watched programs mm -hmm. in Iran. And we are so privileged Thank to you. have you minister to the people of Iran, especially women in Iran. So how does it um, make you feel when you hear 21,000 souls have been saved this year through the works of the ministry and you are a part of that. Tell us more about what are your thoughts when you hear about that? Okay, first of all, that just drops me on my face yes. in adoration. What a great God we serve. Amen. Oh my gosh, those are 
souls forever and ever in eternity. I am, first of all, I'll drop on my face in praise to Jesus, such honor and adoration. And I cannot wait one day to meet those men, right. those yes. women, those children that will say that they are in heaven and they will come up to all of y'all at Iran Alive and maybe some of us that flourish and say, it was what you said. It's what the scripture you shared That's that, right. that turned my heart to Jesus. So what an honor. Oh my gosh. And then to think that that's just a drop in the bucket of the numbers. We know that the number is far greater because not everybody is able to call in or let you know they've given their life to Jesus. That's right. So all I have to say is good job, Iran Alive Ministries. Keep up the good work because there are still so many souls that need Jesus that's so that are true. hungry for truth. That's well, thank you so much. We could not have done it without oh. you two and so many other partners really staying with us, praying for us, supporting us. We couldn't have done it without oh. you. Amen. Amen. Well, I was just thinking about 21,000 souls one day in heaven, 21,000. We'll get to know them and hear their stories and That's what right. program and what scripture touched mm -hmm. your heart. Yeah. And we say this at Uncharted, every soul matters. Right. Yes. So every one of those souls matters of the 21,000. Every one of them That's matters. Right. But look how God is multiplying. Would we ever have thought when the world shut down, when there's war, strife, things happening in Iran, food shortages, terrible things going on, the gospel continues mm -hmm. to just bloom and grow. And it reminds me out of Colossians, Paul said to uh, the, the church in Colossae that all around the world, this gospel is bearing fruit just like it did among you. Mm. So why should we not expect God to do that? He said he would bust through the gates of hell and set the captives free. That's what yeah. he's doing in Iran. He is using Iran Alive That's in a right. huge way. You know, Thank another thing, I'm sorry, one more thing that I think about is um, the vision that God gave Pastor Hermos that, what was it, <clears throat> over a million people would come to yes. faith in Christ. And this is just further evidence of God's hand and favor, his anointing on Iran Alive ministry. So we are it's so true. humbled and so blessed to be able to be a part of what God is doing through Iran Alive Ministries. So jump on board. Don't you want to be involved in what God is doing? God is doing incredible things and he is inviting us to be a part of it. So join Iran Alive and you'll be a part of what God is doing right now to expand his kingdom for the glory of God. Hormos and Joanna and I got to know Hormos and Donnell. We really saw up close what God was doing in the ministry and how powerful it was throughout Iran and around this Middle East and Central Asia. We had a chance to go and be with some of the leaders from Iran that had come out to a training and meet them. You talk about high caliber mm -hmm. leaders that were anointed, had the power of God, filled with the Holy Spirit and making a, a huge impact on the country. We were impressed. And so at Uncharted, I know, Joanna, aren't we thrilled and privileged to work with Hormos oh and Donnell gosh. and all yes. of this staff, Lily and Majid and the whole team. We're just honored and it's Such a blessing. A blessing. It is. One of the things I love about Iran Alive is there's a lot of prayer that goes into this ministry. Can't tell you how many conversations we've had with both Hormos and Donnell where they have taken chunks of time to fast and to pray and That's to right. seek the face of God. And I believe that is why God is honoring the work of Iran Alive Ministries. That's why there's what, 21,000 souls that they know of <clears throat> that have found Jesus just this year. It is because of the prayer and That's the right. fasting and the humility that is in the leadership of Iran Alive. So we are truly blessed and we really are. to serve together for the kingdom of God.